Okay, now it's recording, which I like. I noticed that both white nationalists and black nationalists, I'm not speaking about people that are pro-white that happen to be white or black militant social justice warriors that uh, take their beliefs from whatever they studied in their Afro-American studies class in the university. I'm talking about the politically incorrect black nationalists. They both have similar conspiracy theories, but both those conspiracy theories meet at the gay question, at the gay agenda. And they both have a very exaggerated perspective on it. For the blacks, it's really simple. Black nationalists consider homosexuality a Greco-Roman creation or even a Babylonian construct. And that it's used to destroy the black family by feminizing the black male. That, yeah. Homosexuality, bestiality, and pedophilia. Those are, those are white creations. Them Greek homos. To quote Al Sharpton. <laughs> you gotta love the stuff I don't make up. Because this is the stuff that I don't make up that's really weird. But. <laughs> They believe that, that it's a white thing, but it's also being used as a conspiracy, as an agenda to make blacks more effeminate, to destroy the family, and to overall demoralize and lower the standard of living of blacks. And that's really strange, but when it's articulated really well, I could understand it. I see this a lot in various black nationalists or pro-pan Africanism pages. I don't know, pan-Africanism. Stuff I, the terms I make up on off the cuff, it's ridiculous. And then you see with the white nationalists, They'll assume that the homosexual agenda, the gay conspiracies used on white people to absolve them of their white guilt, which they will always have because if they were born white, they're guilty for all the bad things white people have done throughout history, both real and made up in... Marxist history courses or postmodern history courses. So they're guilty for some of the stuff that they have done and some of the stuff that they haven't actually done, but we take as fact nowadays. And even if their ancestors weren't those white guys, especially if they didn't actually do some of these actions or take some of these actions themselves in their own lifetimes. They're still guilty, just by being white. And to absolve them of this guilt, they can identify as some deviant sexual identity, which, truth in point, that might be the case, but not really. Because you could be a dicis scum, homosexual, pedophile ass, bestiality as white boy but at the end of the day if you say something that's racially insensitive to a POC person of color it doesn't matter whether or not you're gay and what's considered racially insensitive is becoming a lot more broad now so that conspiracy doesn't hold and in terms of black Conspiracy, well, black people are more genetically disposed, predisposed to be sexually deviant, 
there's a wider range of deviancy or preferences that it, they can have that are outside of the norm. And I don't want to say that as an absolutely negative thing. I'm just saying that is what it is. It is a deviation from the norm. In African tribes, there's more signs of incest and homosexuality. I know in third world cultures, in general, for people all across the board, there is more of a sign of bestiality, but the whole homosexuality that's a Greco Roman thing, that doesn't hold weight. Although I do understand why they would make this claim since the sexual culture for the Greco Romans is different. It's not as prudish as our own, even nowadays. But you get my point. As a clarification, and I'm learning that I do have to clarify things that I say because people will always take it incorrectly if I don't articulate it, if I don't put it out there, if I don't explain it to you. I'm not saying that there isn't a weird gay agenda. I'm just saying it's not this deep conspiracy. It's the fact that we're politicizing, trying to create a protected group. It'll come to pass. And we're almost there. We're getting closer and closer. But it's not a full-on genocidal conspiracy. It's out there. It's for the goys, basically. All of the Jews who fall victim to it. And it's weird, but it's not targeted to a specific race. It's not targeted to your race. Trust me. Everyone's seeing the disadvantages of it. Everyone's suffering because of it. And it's just a mess. It's just idiocracy. That's the perfect term, actually. Idiocracy. Because it's a dysfunctional mess, and people aren't well-versed on how nuanced it is. A lot of Americans specifically think that one in four people are gay. That's not the case. There are a lot of things to consider, and it's not all black and white, but shit can be stupid. People are getting on the cause because it's the right thing to do and because their status signaling. Because holding on to liberal positions, that's how you showcase your high status. Anyway, this is Mr. Ronka7. Hope you enjoy this video because you know I don't. I enjoy making this video. This is my second cut. This is my second take. Building up the first take, and I really like this version, so suck my dick.